college? Yes, yeah, the program actually is the same program that they use in their trade schools. The same books that we go over the same um, material that we study here is the same material that's studied in the trade schools. Do you enjoy teaching this class? Yes, I really do. I have never been a teacher. This is my first year here in Hurt County, but I have really enjoyed it and learned a lot through the program. I learned a lot through the training with the schools that we through. I really enjoyed the kisses. I got to do a lot more get involved in more stuff than they have What career does this help the most with? This, is, this will be a career in hands-on training, preparing kids for outside, uh, being able to work on a vehicle, being able to work with their hands, trying to get them ready for a workplace. Can we ask some of your students about this class? Yes, you can ask them whichever one. Dylan, what's the things you enjoy about this class? Uh, I enjoy being hands on and doing stuff like that. Hey, my name is Josh Caldwell, and what I like about this class is it's more hands on and it'll help me in my future and being a diesel mechanic. Hey, 
it's, it's interesting because you just try not to laugh and you might try not to cry at the same time because sometimes you get frustrated with your working with. But in the end, it just all ends up being like you have a movie that you made and you know what I mean? Like, I did that, I did that. So they're making um, fruit tarts in the class today. So they're making their pastry cream. Right now they're mixing their egg yolks and their sugar together and they get ready to start adding the cornstarch and the flour, all-purpose flour to it. And then once they get that mix, then they're gonna add that to their heated cream and cook it over the stove to make that pastry cream for them and then they're gonna let it cool overnight. And so after tomorrow, once they're done uh, letting that cool, whisking it back up. They're gonna put it inside of the tarts that they're making, which they've already mixed up. They have them in the freezer now. And they got their tart pans here ready. They're gonna bake them in the oven. Then they're gonna add the pastry cream and then they're gonna put the arrangement of fruit on top. Strawberries, blueberries, grapes, kiwi, and other fruits and stuff like that. So just let those cool. But that's what their um, assignment is. And that's just like a typical assignment, something like that basic in an intro class. This is my intro to culinary arts course. I try to keep the um, the recipes that they create or they implement in the classroom something simple. It won't cause them to trip up and things like that. I would tell them to make, you know, a souffle because that takes the technique, especially with the folding of the eggs, um, the egg yolks, and then the flour, the sugar, and things like that. But, um, yeah, they do pretty good, though. I am I'm proud of them. This is their first time in lab. Um, mainly what I'm looking at is the sanitation practices and making sure that they're able to read and follow the recipe according to how it was written. I believe in, regardless of what our opinion may be with a recipe, always do it according to how it's written. When it's complete, then you can modify that recipe. So that's what we're doing.
Mary Beth and I am the athletic trainer and sports medicine teacher here at Hearn County High School and in the sports medicine pathway you do the introduction to healthcare class, the essentials of healthcare class, and then the sports medicine class. The intro to healthcare class is just going to give you more information about different fields in healthcare. The essentials class is going to be like an anatomy and physiology class and then your sports medicine class is more geared to what I do as an athletic trainer. So some of the ways that that can help you is if you are interested in any kind of healthcare career in the future, um, that can give you an opportunity to kind of jumpstart that career, especially if you're looking at being in athletic training. Um, we have different opportunities for you to do work-based learning with me. You can come out, you can watch football practice and see how that goes. You can see what I do on a daily basis. And then you just get more information about generalized healthcare um, that anatomy class, the essentials class, is really good if you're thinking you're wanting to do a healthcare field because that will give you something to kind of jumpstart your college career in healthcare because you will have to take anatomy and physiology at some point. So there are lots of different ways that it can help you, and we would love for you guys to come out and take a look at our program. Hey, I'm Ellie Gage. Um, I've been in this class since the beginning of my freshman year, but we just got this one in here as our teacher in Um, this class just really helped me. 